Hi guys, this is Fernando doing another video for the Modern Survivalist. Today I'm going to be showing you and talking a little bit about potassium permanganate, which is this little flask that you see here. Potassium permanganate is a uh, chemical compound, it's actually a salt, that you will sometimes find in some of the more specialized survival kits. It does have several applications that are of interest and very specific ones that are very useful such as purifying water, can also be used for cleaning and disinfecting wounds, for fungus infections in your feet and your hands as well, so other skin problems as well. It has uh, also a, a use for, for signaling, especially in snow, because it has a, a rather visible purplish reddish coloration. Uh, just using it with a little bit of water, it can create significant uh, signals, and especially in snow. It also can be used if you have the right chemicals to combine it with for making actually fire as well. If you have glycerol, glycerin, you and you have some potassium permanganate, you can start a fire as well. So it is pretty pretty practical, I believe. And I have it in my own kits. I use um, a flask, a little crystal, a little glass flask, but I wrap it with a bit of duct tape well in this case it's a bit more I use one that is rather more visible in case uh, you know just so as to not lose it and a small amount of potassium permanganate will go a long way so let's start using it for some of its different purposes you don't need a, a ton of this stuff it's highly has oxidation properties so you have to be very careful when handling because it will leave marks in your skin brown marks because of its oxidation so you have to be rather careful with this sort of stuff ideally you would be using gloves right and probably it's what I should be doing but gonna be a bit extra careful just a small crystal what is Firstly, let's take a look at what's the, the type of presentations. You see that it's actually a, a small crystal. It ha it's, as I said before, it's a salt, so it has little crystals in it. Just using a small amount of that goes a long way. You see how, how it colorates water pretty fast. How much do you need for each of these purposes that I was mentioning before? Well, for purifying water, you just need the smallest, yeah, the slightest tint of, of purple all right as you see as you see here we already have have a bit so you just have to start mixing it up and if you have just a bit of coloration that's enough you don't need more than that so a small crystal is enough for treating uh, a glass of water that crystal is still not completely dissolved, so we can keep mixing it up. I don't know if the camera actually got, catches that that color, but it, it already has has enough of a tint. I don't know if you guys can tell. Yes, suppose it's visible. That coloration that you see is enough so as to make it potable for drinking. Uh, one of the things that I like about it is that it's, it doesn't taste as bad as chlorine which is more often used I believe it has been used historically for purifying water so it's not a, a new application or, or anything like that it has been used and it's still being used uh, these days for purifying water there was uh, an incident um, in a certain city that I don't remember right now I think it was in Asia uh, where they had a problem with the tap water having this type of color because they had exceeded the amount of potassium permanganate needed for for purifying and well they cl clarified that it was perfectly okay for drinking that it was safe to drink but uh, you know just a little anecdote of how how it's still being used as of today it has no foul smell or anything but uh, a small crystal a small crystal is, is enough in this case it was a bit too much you would have to add a bit more water but that's that would be the um, the rule to go by uh, it just a small crystal and as soon as you see the coloration in the water that's that's the point where you know it's enough of it that you don't need any more for making that water uh, um, you know f safe for drinking now what about for 
treating uh, wounds and disinfecting. In that case, you would have to add a bit more wa a bit more, a couple more crystals, so as to have a, a bit of a more visible color. Let's add a bit more. couple more crystals there we go as I said before the cool thing about this is that very little goes a long way I still have mo <laughs> you know all of the bottle left just use tiny little bits of crystals and that's enough you see that a bit more of a tint Maybe with this quantity, with this amount of, of crystals and half the water that I have here, that would be a good point for for disinfecting and not getting too too carried away. Uh, again, you have to be careful because it's highly it uh, it has a high oxidation power and it does leave stains in your skin. So you have to be careful. You don't want to overdo it. This, the, this amount of, of potassium permanganate in water will be too much for drinking. This is starting to look better for wound cares and, and disinfecting wounds. As you keep adding more crystals, uh, as you can imagine, you keep getting a, a darker color. Just for the sake of it, let's, let's try it out and so you can see what it is like large larger chunk fell right in it's gonna be good so as to show you how how powerful it is in terms of of making a signal if you ever have to use it for that in snow you don't have snow here but this as you see you know it has that wine color A small amount of it in the snow would be very visible. Let's leave that there. Pretty cool thing to have. As I was saying before, with a bit of, of glycerin, it does have a, a rather energetic reaction. Going to be using this little tray here, so as to keep it safe. Have a bit of, of wood there as well. Glycerol, right? Glycerin, glycerin or glycerol. Careful with this sort of stuff, guys. Just small amount of it, so as to keep it safe. But for demonstration purposes, let's just go for it and try it out. It has a rather violent and very visible reaction once once it reacts be extremely careful when doing this don't don't fool around because you can you can start a, a big fire with this kind of stuff it actually it's actually Sorry, just <laughs> dropped the mic there for a second. As I was saying before, you have to be very careful with this because it does start a fire, as you notice, and it does it quite well. But it's so hot, it's a kind of dangerous if you're not very, very careful. It's actually so hot that it's it it, it lights up termite as well. So yeah, it, it is. It, it gets pretty hot. So it's not just a little fire that you're starting. You're starting a quite a, an aggressive reaction, folks. That was. Potassium permanganate for you. 
in some of its applications. Uh, as I was saying before, a small vial of it will go a long way because just just a, a few a few drops, a few pieces, a, a few little crystals is more than enough for treating water. So you know, just keep it in mind. You can. It's not that easy to find, but searching it online, you will usually find it. Sometimes uh, you will find it for being sold for for fishes because they use it as I was explaining before for some of the fungi, the little uh, white spots fish sometimes get in their fins so they would put the little fish in there and treat him that way so sometimes in the veterinarian and and fish stores you will find it. Folks, potassium permanganate and some of its applications. Hope you like this little video hope you you enjoyed it and if you like it keep in mind maybe subscribing as well. Take care and see you on our next video. Bye bye.